Firstly, made around 100 years ago, back in 1927 as ever ready 2694, the angle head flashlight was a hit, bringing lots of advantages, then was adapted for the US Army as TL-122, and since that, even today, is still in production as a government and military flashlight. Used in the United States, Italy, Great Britain and France, TL-122 got various versions and back in 1943 was released the first plastic angle head flashlight. And one year later, featuring sealed lens, moisture proof, it was almost waterproof and also included color filters. During the Vietnam War, the flashlight got improved and back in 1975, it was included a switch guard for preventing accidental push on the on and off switch. Such flashlights were produced by USA Light, Bright Star, GT Price, Micro Light and Fulton. The last one is the most popular today and this is the most familiar angle head flashlight we know. Recently I found another German company which makes such angle head flashlights under the brand Miltec. They provided many gear and costumes for the Uncharted movie starring Tom Holland, Mark Wahlberg and Antonio Banderas. So I've got the Fulton MX991 used in the United States the TL-122D used in France and all the Miltec versions for understanding how good they are and what are the options today for such angle head flashlights. The MX991 comes by default with a classic bulb working on 2.4 volts and use two diesel batteries. There is a conversion kit which converts the diesel battery into AA battery and LED bulb working on 3 volts. This is supposed to make the flashlight lighter in weight the bulb more powerful and lasting longer. Meanwhile Miltec has many versions out there and some of them comes by default with LED. So I've got all of them to find out which one is better. Then the conversion kit made for Fulton doesn't satisfy me. So I've got some separate adapters and LED lights looking for the best option out there. Now let's see which one is better and which one offers the best overall experience. Firstly, the flashlight made by Fulton Industries is made of solid plastic. At the end, there is a lower cap hiding the filters, various colors and a light diffuser, a lanyard ring or a safety eyelet. It has a holding clip for using the flashlight projecting the light forward, having both hands free, and a three-step switch button with signal function. A very solid flashlight. Inside, there is a classic incandescent bulb operating at 2.4 volts. Also features a spare bulb. And it powers with two diesel batteries. The TL-122D I have here is made for the French market. This is an older version because it doesn't have the switch protection. Includes the same filters. And also includes a spare bulb. Same ring for using the filters. It's a bit smaller in every single way. It comes with the same classic bulb. This one doesn't have the safety eyelet. However, the overall build is quite different and I think the Fulton MX991 has some obvious improvements. What I like on TL-122 is it doesn't use rivets but Phillips screws so in case there's something wrong with the switch. I can disassemble it, clean it and repair it. I can also do this on newer Fulton flashlight, but that would be much more difficult. Otherwise, they're pretty much the same. This is LED large Miltec angle head flashlight and it's supposed to be a copy of Fulton MX991. As far as I know, this was never used in military conditions. But it's supposed to give us a cheaper, similar experience. It features 5 LED bulbs, the same switch with signal option. It has the same safety eyelet seen on the original Fulton. Doesn't include any spare bulb, otherwise it's the same. Here I have the medium Miltec angle head flashlight. It's basically the same, but has only 4 LED bulbs, same on and off switch. Same safety eyelet, same filters, just no diffuser. The only main difference is that it's powered by C cell batteries because it's smaller. And here comes the most interesting part. At least in theory, the same flashlight with the same features but a lot smaller. 
same shape, same switch, with LED light, the holding clip, the filters, and most probably that's a similar LED coming in the conversion kit for the Fulton MX991. Now what's awesome about this flashlight is that it's powered by two AA batteries, which makes it extremely convenient and easy to use, but we'll talk more about this later. When it comes to modding and conversion, things become a bit different. Because the original MX991 is quite heavy and the light bulb has an extremely poor performance and gets hot, people want to make the original flashlight more up to date. There is an official conversion kit, but I don't like that because the LED bulb is not that powerful and the conversion from diesel battery to AA battery is quite complicated. So I firstly got these adapters, there's not just one AA battery but three. They're connected in parallel so the voltage is not modified and I can use three batteries, two batteries or one single battery if I want to save weight and make the flashlight lighter. Then considering the flashlight by default operates on three volts, I was looking for the most powerful three volts LED and I found this one. It's supposed to be a lot more powerful and also has a small magnifying glass. I'll test all of them later but for now let's see how much weight I could save. Firstly, one diesel battery has 132 grams. Using the adapter with one AA battery has 42 grams. With two AA batteries has 66 grams. and using three AA batteries has 92 grams. Once more, let's check the D-cell battery. So even if I'm using all three AA batteries, I'm saving 40 grams per battery slot. Now in the worst case, if I'm using all battery slots, I have 184 grams for the battery and 378 grams as a whole. The flashlight with battery included while the flashlight with original diesel battery has up to 460 grams. And if I want to go really light, I can use one single AA battery in each adapter and now the flashlight is as low as 282 grams. That's 178 grams lower than its original weight. The TL122D is slightly smaller in size, which makes it a bit lighter in weight. While the Fulton MX991 MT weights 196 grams, the TL122D weights only 160 grams, which means including the adapters will be as low as 226 grams. That means the modified TL122D is less than half original Fulton MX991. In terms of light, it has the same socket, so it can be modified the same as Fulton MX991. The large Miltech has its own LED, so this one cannot be modified at all. And that's a big no. Once the LED gets broken, I suppose I have to get a completely new flashlight, as I don't see any spare parts anywhere online. But obviously, I can use the battery adapter, so considering the empty flashlight weights only 146 grams, including the adapter will be as low as 212 grams, which is quite good. The medium Miltec also has its own LED, so once more, this cannot be modified. But even though this works on C-cell battery, I found some adapters which converts from AAA to C. I think having or carrying AAA batteries is far more convenient than C-cell batteries, so this is definitely a great upgrade. The empty flashlight weights 102 grams, and including its original C-cell batteries, goes up to 234 grams, while using the adapters can go as low as 126 grams. One single adapter with one single AAA battery weights only 12 grams, while one single C-cell battery weights 66 grams. That's almost 5 times less. When it's about the smallest Miltec flashlight, 
things are getting even more interesting. Firstly, because this one used the same bulb socket and obviously can be modified the same as Fulton MX991 or TL122D. Then it's powered by default with AA battery, so that makes it lighter. The smaller LED Miltech weights only 62 grams when it's empty and 106 grams fully powered. That means four small Miltech LED flashlights weights less than one single original Fulton MX991. And at least in theory, I can get the same light power having the same light bulb inside. Now, even though it seems that Fulton MX991 makes no sense, it has some advantages. Firstly, I tried to find some LED bulbs with higher lumens, even though it requires a higher voltage. I found this LED operating between 6 volts and 24 volts, but considering the flashlight works with two batteries of 1.5 volts each, both together outputs only 3 volts, so my new LED won't turn on. Using this adapter operating in series with one adapter operating in parallel will be 4.5 volts plus 1.5 volts, which results in 6 volts, the minimum required. Here I have the adapter in parallel, 1.5 volts, and two adapters in parallel works on 3 volts. Here I have the adapter in series, 4.5 volts, and two adapters in series, 9 volts. So if I'm using one in series and one in parallel, I should have around 6 volts. And this way I can upgrade the Fulton MX991 or TL122D even further, more than I can do with the smallest Miltech. Regarding filters. This is a great option and accepting the filters each flashlight is coming with. I can always make a new filter or a new diffuser from various materials. I was trying to test them outside in complete darkness, but this test doesn't satisfy me and doesn't seem relevant. So I go inside and use the controlled environment for a better conclusion. I'm around 3 meters away which is around 10 feet far from the subject in almost complete darkness using the same settings on camera. This way I can see the light power and the light spread from each individual flashlight and light bulb. Now I'm letting you to decide based on what's the difference. This is the Fulton MX991 as it comes by default with original classic bulb. the same classic incandescent bulb with diffuser. This is the Fulton MX991 using the LED bulb from the smallest Miltech with diffuser. The Fulton using the same LED bulb from Miltech but without diffuser. Fulton MX991 with new 3 volts LED without diffuser. Fulton, with the same new LED but using diffuser. Medium LED Miltech without diffuser. Medium LED Miltech using diffuser. Small Miltech using new 3 volts LED without diffuser. Small Miltech with its original LED without diffuser. Small Miltech with original LED and with diffuser. There is a small difference in light spread because some LED projects the light as a flower and that may be disturbing in some situations. I'm projecting the light on a white wall without any objects between, so we can see the projection. The 6 up to 24 volts LED definitely makes a lot more light. However, due to its construction, the projected light is flowered and a diffuser definitely helps.
the 6 volt small LED is extremely similar with the original incandescent bulb. The only advantage is this LED will last longer. This is how it looks, the classic incandescent bulb. The new 3V LED on Fulton MX991. The largest Miltec with its own LED. There are 5 bulbs inside and this can definitely be seen in the light projection. Using a diffuser makes a difference. The 6 volt LED using a diffuser makes the light a bit more diffused, but still has some flower pattern. The TL122D has a more shiny reflector. And here I'm using the 3 volts new LED. In conclusion, all these angle head flashlights fit their purpose and they're all good for what they are supposed. Firstly, because they're angle head and they include functions that standard flashlights doesn't offer. The large Miltec is great, makes enough light and is not heavy. But considering I can't modify the bulb, and more than that, I can't easily replace it in case something goes wrong. I don't really like it. Same thing for the medium Miltec. Being able to replace the light bulb makes a lot of sense when having such flashlight. Surprisingly, before finishing the video, after only around 10 hours of use, the medium Miltec LED got broken. And exactly as predicted, it has no future. I can't replace it, and everything I can do is just buy a completely new flashlight, which makes no sense. The TL122D, which is almost identical with Fulton MX991. Looks like a great flashlight and I love the fact I can open the on and off switch, just in case if needed. While on Fulton, these are not screws but rivets, which makes everything more difficult. However, the overall build is inferior in almost every single aspect and at least from my experience, I'd never choose a TL122D from France in front of a United States Fulton MX991. The small Miltec is absolutely fantastic especially for average domestic use. It has any single feature seen on MX991, supports filters, it has the lanyard ring, the holding clip and everything else seen on the original military flashlight. It's just smaller and is powered by AA battery. And the fact I can replace the light bulb with anything that operates on 3 volts from incandescent bulbs to LED makes it a top choice for a flashlight. Of course, in terms of materials it's not as good as MX991, but comes with the advantage of being a lot smaller and lighter. And the best of them all is the Fulton MX991. The only small sacrifice is the size which is not ridiculous, and the weight, which once more if used with battery adapters, having a such strong and durable flashlight at 282 grams sounds absolutely great. Considering all options to modify it and even go higher in voltage, it's awesome. My final thoughts. The large Miltec makes no sense. If I'm ready to carry a large flashlight, I'd go for the original Fulton. The medium Miltec looks like a poor compromise, which makes no sense. The small Miltec is top, and the Fulton MX991 is just the best. I really use these flashlights, I enjoy them and I find them extremely useful. Have a great day and enjoy your flashlight.